All right, here we are at Eno River State Park. Got some, I can't zoom in on it. Got some cheap fishing gear going on. We're gonna see if we can go fishing. Hell yeah. Look at that. Look at the ranger possum. <laughs> really? Very interesting. And apparently there are otter here. River otter. Don't touch them. Do not touch them. And beaver, which are really good. That's actually a really good sign for the environment, really. This is the office. Uh, we just got loaded up with really decent intel on all the great places to fish. Apparently there's just no restrictions. They really don't care. Cast in if you have a license. That's what we're gonna do. They also had some pretty sweet North Carolina State Parks map. We've literally done all of the top. This is where we start getting into the so far out there we haven't been. I really like this this bench. It's a work of art. Is it really? Mm -hmm. I want to go kayaking on the cliffs of Noose and they were like, LOL, no, we just have the lake. And I'm like, die. You know, river. Right, so we should go with the mo against the movement of the water, so that way, right? Or not? Nah? Oh yeah, that's a good point, yeah. I mean, there's no reason we couldn't even cast off here, but... Hmm. Consult the map. And the Kumpai. So I guess we decided we're going to go upstream. That's pretty cool. Oh, look. We got crawdads and stuff. Very different park than we're used to. So while trying to find a good spot that was tree free so we could cast in, we came upon this bridge. We're supposed to head back that way across the bridge, and we find out, and it's got a little blocked off. Team Rocket's been here, you know? And my first initial thought was, like, yeah, but we can still cross it. I mean, you could easily just loop around another and keep bridge? going. Wait, what? Is there another bridge? Uh, yeah. you gotta, you gotta kind of go across it. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Sounds like our kind of thing. Alright, this is it. We found a little area that had less tree branches. Because initially there were tree branches. Can you guess where our tackle ended up? If you said the tree branches, you were right. That's what we kind of got going on there. So yeah, just some fake bait in the river. Um, the rapids are a little bit confusing. It's been about a decade or more since I have actually done any actual fishing. It was all in the Shenandoah in a more placid area. I keep on feeling tugging and I think, oh, is that it? But um, no, and it, the rapids want to quickly return your bait to the, um, your, your hook to the, uh, the edge. And uh, I don't think that's uh, conducted to success. But, well, you know how I learn. 
by fucking up a lot. All right, after losing more bait and having to cut my line, as we keep on getting it hooked on rocks and seaweed, we're gonna try to move upstream. This wasn't exactly the place that we were told to go fishing, it's just a place we thought we could fish, so anyway. So we're just walking along and we're like, well, we, we wanna find a place soon where we might be able to cast in. And I'm like, what about that unnaturally placid area? And, and because, because, I have the, because I have the attention span of a five-year-old, we're gonna stop our mission for a quick second to a side mission. I'm gonna go fuck with that turtle. Safetyville. Girl, I thought that was a sand. Oh, dude, there's three of them next to the the log next to him. Oh my God, Girl, come here. I thought that was I'm a sandbank. A I understand that you're the symbol of the Dow, self-contained and with a massive turtle penis. Well, we got a couple different types of um, bait that we've been using. I know I shouldn't be talking that loud, I'm scaring with the damn fish, but I'm a Tolstoy, so what am I supposed to do about it? Um, we were just using some fake bait. We were gonna use some worms, some crawdads. Uh, I found, um, last time I did this, uh, man, what was I, like 13, 14? And I was uh, on my uncle's boat on the bay. Um, so it helps have a boat, helps be out on a big body of water, you know. Uh, you can do a lot of trolling there. Ha her, ha her, ha ho. Um, but we had a couple different types. We had. The small ones, and we have these bigger ones that are a little bit more weighted, because as you can see, it's got a little lead weight in it. it sinks it down to the bottom a little bit more. And uh, the unfortunate thing is, I keep on getting them caught on the rocks, because the river keeps on trying to push it all the way over here to the bank, which is, I suppose, where these dang things are supposed to be. But um, it keeps on getting caught on rocks and then snipping the line. Either that or a fish ate the line. Uh, I really can't tell. Uh, I have zero XP in this. I have to kill about a million boars before I can do anything. Found something interesting. I think it's a piece of a shirtles. Shirtles. Good word. I think it's a piece of a turtle shell. We can't figure out is what the heck is stuck to it. I'm thinking that's a piece of its flesh. Whatever killed it. Yeah, I think that's a that's a tadpole, dude. Tadpoles don't get that dang big. Yeah, they do. No, but that's not the pattern of turtle's flesh. Turtle skin. I'm not really sure. That's creepy. That is insanely creepy, actually. <laughs> Never thought of what happens when a turtle's shell comes apart. It's actually very stiff. Where'd that other piece go? What do you mean? Uh, is there another piece over here? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Mm, this looks like a piece of its like inner rib cage or something like that. Yeah, I think connected. that's the 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 uh, middle portion of the shell. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. I bet we could probably stick it onto that somehow. <laughs> Connects and fibers. Yeah, that's its. That's part of its skeleton. That's part of its rib cage. Well, my shoes are wet and have literally no treads, so this is probably a terrible idea. But this boulder has. Mm, just a little bit of, just a little bit of grips. One good grip right here. One, found another one somewhere. Can't couple the grip, actually. There we go. No place to really get your grip past here, but... Me and my buddy constantly have this conversation at the climbing gym as to whether or not, you know, 
IRL climbing has that much distance in between the grips or not because sometimes there's just I mean sometimes there's literally six feet in between the grips and it's kind of stupid maybe you can't see it as soon as I crested this little whatever this is over here a crane just majestically flew right in front of me it was a great scene and I know it's eyeing us right now and thinking how I don't want to see you. And I know that the camera won't focus in on it until I'm way too close. I know, it was like camouflaged. Did you get it? Yeah, a little bit. I got a little bit of it. I feel terrible, but do you think we can just like persistence hunt this fucker? Okay, well, my eyes can perceive. Why can't the camera perceive? Let us try. See if the flashlight's working. Nope. There we go. Just needed me to hit it. Uh, whoo. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Well, this was the death bridge. It says danger don't cross. We didn't listen to that, but fuck. I think it's mostly because of how screwed up the trail is back there. It's a great trail. That's why I like it.